All right, so welcome back to another video of impossible math questions. So right now we're given a triangle, right? A right triangle specifically with measures of four and nine to this side and this side. So we need to find the area of the square, but we're not given any of these sides, which is necessary to find the area of the square, right? Side times side, that gives you area. So how can we do this? What you guys might try is the algebraic approach, right? You might try plugging X's and Y's. Well, no. Usually when you're doing a question that looks like this, the impossible questions, you have to think outside the box, literally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a rectangle, right? You can say that this triangle is the same as this triangle because we're just splitting this big rectangle into half. Well now, what's special about this? So let's make a rectangle using this triangle right here. We can say that these two areas are equal, right? This is, this is equal y, because it has the same length and the same width. So it's the same thing, same triangle. And let's make a triangle over here. So this triangle is the same as this triangle, right? Same width, same length. So these two triangles are congruent to each other. Therefore, it means that this box right here has to be equal to this box. Why? Because as we can say, this triangle right here is the same as this triangle right here, right? Because we form the rectangle and this line divides the triangles into two. So basically, how do we find the area of this box? Well, we know this side length is going to be 9. We know this side length is going to be 4. 4 times 9, 36. So therefore, this is the area of our blue box. So your answer is 36. Pretty cool, right? So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.